Hi guys, I'm actually filming this on New Year's Eve. Jay and I are getting ready to go out to a, um, a local restaurant. We're going to go out as soon as the Patriots game is over. And we want to go early enough so we avoid all the crunch. We normally go out with my mother and dad and my sister and brother-in-law and my son and sometimes my nieces. But, you know, it's, it's like so cold. Nobody really wants to go out. But Jay and I are going to head out in a little bit. But before I do that, I wanted to answer a number of questions I've gotten about my lips. So this is going to be a little bit about derma rolling my lips and a little bit about lipstick. Now, <laughs> I don't have amazing lips whatsoever. Many of you know I've got thin lips, especially the upper lips, and um, I'm on a quest to have better looking lips, I guess. So uh, one of the things that I mentioned in my last couple of videos is I've mentioned that I have derma rolled my lips. Now, I'm a late start on derma rolling lips. I never derma rolled my lips until uh, maybe, I think it's been about two months, maybe two and a half months now that I've been derma rolling my lips. I had watched Mary Ellen After 60. I'm gonna try to find her video and link it below. But I had watched her. She is the, a content creator that I know most of you know, but she is a content creator that has actually been derma rolling her lips the longest that I know of anyways. So, and she has some amazing before and after photos. So the derma rolling her lips has really done a lot for her lips. And if I have a quarter of the success that she's had with her derma rolling her lips, I will be thrilled. So that said, I, I haven't had any results that I could see at all on my derma rolling. It's too new for me. And I am a believer that things will, things will work. Um, if you've if you're consistent with it and uh, in your patient so I don't believe derma rolling my lips is going to be overnight at all and more often than not I derma rolled twice a week so one night I derma roll my entire face my hair my face my lips another night during the week I just do my lips and my hair so it, it tends to be on a Wednesday night, not always, but I'll shower, wash my hair really good, wash my face. I take rubbing alcohol. I put alcohol all over my lip area. I sanitize my hands. I sanitize my derma roller. I am very, very, very cautious on that. I will derma roll my lips the same way I do my face. I make a pass one way like maybe four or six times, depending on my time frame, and then I'll do a pass the other way, and then I'll go diagonal and diagonal. I'll just keep going crisscrossing across my lips, my lower, my upper, and then this area right here above my lips, where my smoker's wrinkles are. I do my, there goes my heat again. Every time I film in here, my heat turns on. It's, it, it's like so funny. So, um, but anyway, so I will crisscross with my derma roller. I make sure that I'm totally sanitized and I make sure that if I touch anything that hasn't been, I sanitize my hands all over again. And so I'm so freaky um, particular about that, I guess is the right word. So when I do my lips and I'm done my lips, I'll typically do my hair. I soak my, my roller all over again. In the interim, I'm doing some sort of a lip treatment. Now, I had really hoped to maybe do something like this. I got this lip mask in my BoxyCharm, but um, I haven't, I ha I've used it, but not on a derma rolling my lips night. And it's, it's, it doesn't work for me. It, it's really not, I couldn't keep the thing on, let's put it that way. But I got these free in my, in free. I pay for my BoxyCharm, so I didn't get it free. But this was in a BoxyCharm, and I thought maybe it would be a cool thing to use on derma rolling my lips nights, not. The other thing that I had really wanted to think about using, and I haven't done it yet, only because I contacted the company, and um, the company said no, they wouldn't recommend that I use this on derma rolling, after derma rolling my lips. And this is the Escheo ESHO Sculpt. This is full of some amazing ingredients and I use this on my lips twice, once in the morning, once in the night. It is supposed to have an accumulative, accumulative effect, meaning that over time your lips are supposed to stay plumper. I find that this plumps my lips up almost instantaneously but then dissipates as the day goes by. It it doesn't it doesn't it hasn't given me any kind of a cumulative effect yet, and I've been doing it almost for three months now. 
I was really thinking of using this after derma rolling because I had some other content creators that I've been watching have used it after derma rolling quite successfully. But when the company said to me, no, they wouldn't have recommended it. I know they're just covering their butt probably, um, but I still didn't do it. So what I do instead on my derma rolling of my lips night is that I just use and my Matrixel Sync 6 from Timeless. I end up putting that all over my lips and I let it soak in and it's it feels really really good and that's all I put on after derma rolling my lips I haven't added anything else just like all I do for my hair after derma rolling my hair is my Nutriox serum so that said you know I derma roll twice a week no I've not seen any major improvement do my lips feel better I do think my lips feel better. I think that they are less dry. This is winter for me. I have forced hot air heat. My lips would normally be dry and cakey, and they're not. Is that the derma roller? Maybe. Is it the sculpt that I'm putting on? Maybe. Is it my petroleum and jelly that I put all over my lips? Maybe. Or maybe it's the bite, agave. Agave? This is also something I... I don't know if Mary Ellen after 60 uses the exact same one, but I happen to really like this as a lip conditioner, lip moisturizer. I put that on my lips. So in conjunction with everything I have been doing this year, my lips have felt better. My lips are not any thicker. They, they're not any lusher. They're not sexy. They're not like vavum yet. I don't know if they ever will be. They never have been. I have thin upper lips, but I'm really, really um, working at it and I'm really enjoying the things that I've been doing for my lips. So the other questions I've had is my lipstick. So I, I believe this is Maybelline. It is so old it's worn off, but it's number 445. And this is on the mauve. This is my favorite. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. This is my favorite color. I will, every morning after I've done my lip treatment, I go into the living room and, I, and I've done my serums, my lip treatment, I go into the living room and I stop my eyelashes. And then when I'm done my eyelashes, I come back in the bathroom and I take a Q-tip and I wipe off all the, you know, with baby oil, I wipe off all the smudgy mascara all over the place. And then I stop my makeup. I have been using for many years, and I have a few other different lip liners, but for many years I've been using the Avon Glimmer Sticks. Now, I bought this a couple of years ago. I have several of these. And when the Glimmer Sticks go on sale, they're phenomenal buy. So I really like these because... They're the twist up. They're thick enough that they're they don't break off super easy, and they're they're creamy enough that they glide on my lips super nice. So I this is a darker. This is like a plum shade, and I was told very nicely by someone early on that I shouldn't use it, but I still use it. So I do line my lips with this, and then I will take my. My, and I, oh gosh, I can't remember if it's Revlon or Maybelline. I think it's Maybelline. My, my number 445 on the mauve, and I put that on. And then I top it off with my number 45 Rimmel. This is a beautiful, for me, nude. I happen to really, it's a little bit lighter. You can see it's on the top. I happen to really like lighter lipstick. When I'm done that, then I will either top it off. My tried and true has been the Buxom. I absolutely love the Buxom lip creams, lip glosses, plumpers. I love them, love them, love them. And I love the White Russian. I also have the Pink Cadillac or the Pink, pink Champagne. I have a number of their shades. I absolutely love these. I will take the Buxom gloss and I'll just top my lips with it. It'll lighten it up. I love it, love it, love it. And then Laura from Shake Up Makeup or Makeup Shake Up. One of these days I'll get her channel right. Started talking about hard candy. So I went in the store and I bought hard candy. And I was like, whoa, this is really nice. It is very, very, very close to the Buxom. It is very, very close. I really like it. It's smooth. It goes on really nice. And, and I'm really pleased with it. 
And then I was looking on the Octoly website, and the Octoly website, well, the one thing I really like about the Octoly website is that you can pick products that you might be interested in reviewing. And I saw all these lip glosses, and these are from Lancome. And there, there's a share gloss, and then there, this is the share gloss. I have worn this gloss all week. I really like it. And then there's a, it, there's a pretty pink one. And then there's a little bit of a deeper pink one, and they work really nice on my lips. And then a darker one. The darker one, I don't know. I'll, I'll superimpose a, a clip with it on. But the darker one, for me, is just, it's it's just too dark. I guess I'm a creature of habit. But anyways, I went on and I saw the lippies and I said, oh, I wanted to try them because I'm really liking the lipsticks. So I put it in. And the thing about the Octoly website is that you can request to review a product and the brands still have to approve you. So I was absolutely thrilled when Lancome actually approved me and sent me these lipsticks. So I was like, Wow, I thought that was really awesome. So I've been trying them. I like the gloss. You know, and so I have two high-end glosses. The Buxom, the Lancome, and then I have my Hard Candy. The only one I really didn't like was the Rimmel Gloss. I tried this one. I didn't like it. It, it was too, it was, it was, um, I still have my boo-boo. It was tacky um, on my lips. I really didn't like how tacky it was. So, um, but the hot candy and the buxom felt very, very similar. And the Lancome, I almost don't even know how to describe it other than smooth. It went on smooth. It, it never dried down tacky. It, it made my lips feel good and plump. So uh, it was very, these three are very much on par. Price points, there are some price point difference. Buxom, Lancome, and Hard Candy, big price differences. But I'm really enjoying these glosses a lot, and I'm enjoying more than I thought I would enjoy the colored glosses. So I think that's really pretty cool. So other than that, I have a ton of lipsticks. I have lip oils. I have the other lip serum that I got from Gerard Cosmetics. I have all sorts of different, and I keep checking out these lipsticks. I keep trying to find that perfect lipstick, and I'm, you know, I'm not finding anything better than my combination of the two, the On the Mauve and my pink. I got to figure out what color this is, the number 45 on Rimmel, and my, my Avon lip liners, and then my gloss on top. Whatever gloss it is, I'm really enjoying the heck out of, whoops out of that to the point where in my pocketbook here's what I carry and in here in here I just have lippies I have two pencils an Avon and a Rimmel and then I have the duplicate of my two lipsticks number 45 and number 445 the two lipsticks that I showed you that I layer in the morning and then I have another buxom gloss and then I have another hard candy gloss so I have my glosses my lip pencils and my two lipsticks and then I have this amazing amazing cool mirror that Carol from the old Carol show had talked about it's like super super thin guys I love it because it fits anywhere and one side of the mirror oh I like that one side of the mirror is magnified so if you're like me and you need to see it big and magnified you can see it and the other side is regular. So I'm really loving that mirror. I'm gonna link that mirror down below. So other other than that, I mean, um, my lips is an ongoing quest and the derma roller, I'm gonna continue on it twice a week. I hope that I can come back one day and say, hey, my lips are like Mary Ellen's after 60s. Look at the change. But I'm not expecting that overnight. I really, I'm not expecting it overnight. And I'm, I'm, I'll be super, super happy if there is some more plumping. In the interim, I'm gonna continue on with the products that I'm using. I happen to love my little lipsticks and I think, you know, I'm gonna stop buying all these other lipsticks because I just keep going back to the two that I have that I layer and like a lot. So I think I covered it all. I'm not too sure. Hopefully I did. And I'm surprised Jay hasn't come knocking on the bathroom door yet because he wants to go out to dinner. 
he's getting hungry, I'm sure. So thanks so much, guys. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday season, and now we're into January, and um, I can stop making my birthday list. I'm going to have a birthday in February. Yeah. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.